Hey y'all. I uh, just restrung the 200, so I figured we should do a Who tune, right? Especially one that has uh, a lot of Pete Townsend uh, trademarks in it. Um, let, let's do the chord shapes first, and then get to the picking pattern after it. If that makes sense. Probably doesn't, but that's the way I'm going to do it. Um, e, e, this is your low E, and I assume that's standard pitch. But it's in E minor. No, no, no. Right. Except that first chord is an E minor, but also the B is at the uh, the G string is at the second fret. So A, D, and G are all at the second fret. Right. That's the the chord. It looks like an A, except everything's moved up one string. That's an A with the B string open. And then E minor. G. D. Suspend that up. That's A at the third and B at the third. A with no B string. Behind the mind. And this is where it gets into strumming it instead of picking it. You see, this is my dream. Typical chord suspension that loves me like a rock. Um, up one on the B and up two on the D. As my C concert, D, D, C, D, D. That's E. Uh, very typical Pete Townsend uh, sort of embellishment or suspension of an E. So it's E, A at the 4th fret, D at the, uh, G at the 2nd fret, D strings open. Uh, B minor. E, C.
that's B, regular B, so it does. transition chord is B. It's like a bar B but the A strings open now. Last verse knows what it's like G D. And it's on that A with the B string open. So that's all the chords. E minor G D. That C thing. To the A with the B string open. C. D. Oh, it's empty. D. C. So it goes out and once it gets to this part, that that's strumming. It doesn't think it doesn't pick this part. Most of it, until you, you know, of course you get the strumming part, but most of the picking, you know that song, uh, C and Sad? That picking pattern of C and Sad, this is very, very similar to that on, on almost all of the chords, except for that very first one. Because he doesn't do this. doesn't do that. He kind of, on the very first chord of that A, D, and G, all at the second fret. Like an unresolved suspension, which is very typical of Pete Townsend. Um, he kind of goes up. So once he goes through it, kind of goes through and gets up to the high ones. He never goes back to that low E until he gets to no one knows until he gets to the vocal, you know. Sort of like that, where he sort of hangs around the D, G, and B strings there. Occasionally hitting that high E and occasionally hitting that A string, but... Just those three strings, T, G, B. And then throw in a, a high E and an A string and you kind of got the intro. I do it something like that. Although if you listen to the live version, he, he never picks it the same way. There's no set picking thing that he does. Although, on the studio one, he kind of, so like when it gets to no one, Like that, 
that's the same as the C and C and sand picking pattern. Right. Those are identical picking pattern. Picking your, I, I can't give you too much guidance other than what I just did because it's hard to explain that. I'm, and I'm not the kind of teacher who goes uh, e, e A D G B. E, I, I, I don't teach like that. So, uh, and and it, uh, also listen to live versions. Pete doesn't pick it the same way. So, I think it's uh, the spirit of it is to kind of get a, a, a get the feel of it and then pick your own. That would be my advice. Uh, that's it. Good luck.